Okay, technically day three. Today is a C day. A lot of things going on. We're going to play uh, Slot Pull, Cabin Crawl. All kind of interesting things. Not a whole lot of change here in this view. Left go along at about 18 knots. 18 to 19. Uh, if you look at the map of the room, we're about halfway to St. Thomas. We're outside on the Atlantic side, I guess. I guess we're real close to going into the Caribbean Sea. Grand Turks. Portus was uh, off to our starboard side. We're in the port here. And uh, Mother Nature's providing with the uh, sun this morning. Uh, actually, very nice out here this morning in the 70s. Well, I got a feeling we're going to get up to about 83. No interesting activity this morning. Haven't seen any big fish or... So here we go on about 12 o'clock. Just won six dollars on our $15 investment on the uh, poker pole. Uh, excuse me, on the uh, slot pole. And uh, did pass the ship while we were down there. I can just barely see it on the horizon. Yeah. Okay, but here we are. We're in the Caribbean Sea now. It also gets the sunlight at the right angle, turns all this nice water to nice shades of blue. So, day at sea, and uh, the natives have all gotten out on the deck here, and we're uh, in the pools, sun tanning, sunbathing, just about a whole series of uh, steel drum music, and this is the Lido deck, the Royal Princess, November. 2015. And by the old clock on the wall up here, it's about 1.15 in the afternoon and we're up one time zone past Eastern, so two hours short of back home. And this is the uh, Skywalk Bar. Sea View, it's called Sea View Bar, and all the uh, restaurants, the buffet restaurants, are all in there. They're very impressive, and I gotta go in there with the camera and do a walkthrough on all four aisles of it. <laughs> it's a little bit on the unbelievable side. <laughs> Okay, this is room 105 on the M deck, and this is the room you're on top of the bridge. This is the one you want to get in the balcony. Okay? Nothing deal. I'm going up the rear. 
sorry, no, everybody's gone. Okay. Oh, there you go. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah, it was it was a nice. It was a guarantee, and we just got they assigned it. <laughs> okay, this is a handicap room. Uh, 304. And uh, including handicap facilities. The roll up shower, you can roll your, your uh, wheelchair in or scooter. And the door is also big enough to get a wheelchair through. Which is on a cruise ship, that's a big door. <laughs> and a lot of room to put a cart, an electric cart, and a plug to plug it in. So they even got a plug on the wall to plug the cart in. <laughs> so, and uh, you had a small bunk, two bunk, two single beds, which is paramount. You got to, oh, this one. You got this Iowa Hawkeye cover. Did you uh, get the cards for us? You can pick for me this time. You can. Those are corn nuts and soybean nuts. Okay, I like this. Did you make them yourself? Good. Oh, heavens no. No. Oh, here you go. No. Oh, we're doing good. Well, you know that was a nice club. You could have used the club. This is the Concierge Lounge, if you qualify. That's the uh, way up the roof and buy all the big special suites. Treat yourself to a suite. Right after I win the lottery. There you go. Okay, we need the best, best seven. Is that how it works? Let me put it this way. Can you beat a full house Kings over Aces? Well, okay. it's the worst hand, too. Yeah, well, you better shoot for the worst hand because there's two of us, I think, that got full houses, and I have the one with the, the high one. This is interesting. It's a little fogged up because the doors are open, but a glass shower, nice, real big sink, and a big, big tub. Whoa, man, that's a full size. Deep tub. Okay, so this is first class room. Okay, really, really first class room. And you get the big long balcony to go along with it. It's not any deeper than the one we have, but it's big along. Wooden furniture. Now the friend, they're all friends together, so they have the door open. So this really, you know. The two rooms adjoining us. Really, really nice. And there's your uh, gonna walk up there. And we're up down by the front. Oh, so excuse me. Okay. You just walk right past it. I guess so. This is uh, deck seven that's looking down into six in the casino.
possible to join us down here on deck number five on the port side to assist our maitre d' in the pouring of the champagne. We have 648 champagne glasses here, here. here and it is a Nobody's volunteering. when they teach tap dancing, it's all about the timing. So let me give you an example here. In the UK, if you're doing a shuffle hop step, it's a forward back, hop and down. A forward back, a hop and down. So in the UK, they would do a one and two and three and four and five and six and seven, eight. Whereas in Spain, they give you the cue and they go, Okay, St. Thomas, here we are, New Dock, which I don't know what the name of it is, as opposed to the one we were docked at last time. Ah, here comes the line crew. I wonder if there's anybody who was going to be here to pull the lines in. big as this ship is, how do you tie up? Well, you get somebody to drag your lines up for you in a boat. <laughs> okay, back in St. Thomas again here. And again, today is November the 13th. Uh, it's a Friday and uh, this is St. Thomas and this is the Royal Princess. docked. It's about a little bit before nine and we're going to ride up over there. Yes, there. To the top of a mountain. Last time we were here, for reference, we were at the, we're at the new dock and last time we were there, we were at the old dock and it is right over there behind those two hills. Which you'll see it later on today. Around on the end. It's a law, it's a law. Let's put him on the end. No, he just literally just put it in a slide. He just literally just put it in a slide. He just literally just put it in a slide. He just literally just put it in a slide. He just Okay. 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 Okay.
down to your left, this is the University of the Virgin Islands. There is the royal princess. How's the AC walking? Oh, okay. yeah. All right. Yeah. They go walk better now up. All right, <laughs> All right folks. Well, any question Thor has indeed to ask, any question you want to know, just ask me. This is our airport. Our airport used to be a very small airport, used to be only 2,500 feet. But since 1995, they expanded to 7,000 feet. And also the island crossed the water from the ship, the island they call it. It's part of being in the tropics. So we have a so we have a celebrity ship here. Don't know which one it is. Might be able to get a picture uh, when I get up top of the name. It's on the side. It's one of their newer ships. Ja, okay, da. Ich habe nur noch Lichtbrunnen gesetzt und dann kriege ich direkt die Kribbel, so das ist nicht zu glauben. Back on the ski lifts. <laughs> so this is Paradise Point, as it's called. You come up on the tram. And this is the heavenly dock here. And over there is um, the other dock. Get the name of it. And there's the Royal Princess. And that's the summit, the Celebrity Summit. Uh, 2,600 passengers, I would say, roughly. Uh, not anywhere near the same size ship as the uh, Royal Prince. There's not as many decks, decks the Royal Prince. I was told last night by one of the officers, 3,600 passengers. Uh, Shops down there if you want to go spend your money. Or you can come up here and spend your money. We got shops up here. Wait, this way. Tourist style is the word. Getting the streets fixed 
Yep. Amazing. All the vehicles. Uh, Left-hand drive, which means you should be on the right-hand side of the street, but everybody drives on a using the English approach. It's right-hand drive. Galleria, look at that. See, you didn't have to go all the way to Houston to just come down here. So back at the dock here, it's a little about 12 o'clock, and uh, the big ship doesn't fit in the viewfinder, so we have to pan back and forth. Look at this, see? Yeah, like. So this is the sun deck, the uh, Lido deck down below where the pool is 16, so this would be 17. And this is the Discovery Channel up on the uh, screen right now, which has got these very uh, pretty scenes, Discovery at Sea. Nice hot tub there, hot tub on the other side. And this chairs like this and the tears come into play for the movie at night, movie under the stars. So at this point now I've gotten up to 18. And of course this is a water island over here on the left. Honeymoon Bay is over there. In there, nice place to go. So you're looking at the whole center of the uh, Royal Princess here. And as you can see, at uh, night you can come up here, get a chair. They'll run a movie up on the screen and they do it. They even got some nice uh, blanket things with pillows. Now we go to sports deck. We're on a day team. So, if you want to come up here, as you can see, now, most of the people are back on the ship. <laughs> this was pretty much the way it was on the, front, the last French cruise we were on. There's a lot of space, and believe me, there's no charge for any of this part of it. This ship does not have a pool in the uh, back. I guess I'm gonna have to go over there and take you around the track. That's where we differ from the other ships. There is no promenade deck that you can run around below on this ship. So anyway, this is the sanctuary down here. Um, this is the sanctuary pool. Uh, everybody, all the, everybody on the ship who's an adult can use the pool, which means 99.9% .9 everybody on this ship can, because I don't think I've seen but 10 kids. So, and they're from Retreat Bar. Now, if you have want a cabana, you have to rent one. Half day, day, I don't know, but I know you have to rent it. Same thing up there in the front with the uh, chairs up underneath the collar. There's cushy chairs and all that. that that's a half full day, uh, half day, or I don't know if, it's a crew, if you got a cruise run or not. I'm not into it, but I do that. Now, the chairs on the side, they're open for anybody as far as I know. Um, there's a hot tub here, there's a hot tub there, you know, tons of stuff. Uh, they have a uh, some heat rooms, massage rooms, uh, 
or some type of waterfall device. Uh, there's a couple of videos on YouTube that uh, Princess Cruise Lines has that tells you all about. And, and some of this, uh, most, all the ships have a sanctuary, but some of this is unique to the uh, Royal and the uh, Regal. Uh, I think, you know, it depends on which ship you're on as to what they have exactly. But they all have a sanctuary and so forth. Very nice. And you see a lot of people getting in the pool. It's the, uh, probably if you stood in a dead calm right now, we're close to 90 degrees here. Skywalk. Uh, if I'm on the next level, you actually look down through the glass and uh, you see the water. This is the to make it all structurally work. Question comes up all the time on the Princess Forum Facebook. Now you don't really want to have a balcony here. You can have an awful lot of visitors you may not want. <laughs> this question constantly yeah. comes up on the, yeah. on the Princess Forum's Facebook. Can, can they look in your room? Since they don't have a promenade deck on this ship, this is, it. this is where you do your exercise, walking, or if you're like me, you watch the people exercise. So anyway, there's room for everything up here, but uh, this goes all the way around the ship. Uh, hit this level on the rear end. I'll look and see if there's a sign. Usually they tell you how many laps. Yeah, there you go. Medical emergency 911. <laughs> That's an ominous sign up here. <laughs> out here doing the varnish work, seeing the guy doing the handrails. And here's the gentleman uh, doing the painting. One thing about ships, boats in general, when you got them in salt water, in salt there, maintenance never ends. Here it is. Seven laps is one mile. Okay, there you go. So you walk on the inside and you can run on the outside. And you never run out of places to paint on a ship. Never. One thing about this, this ship is not, is only about two years old. It's a little past two. And this is 2000, November 2015. This ship was christened by Princess Kate. Now, for you sports 
Giants fans. Want to play some basketball or whatever else you can dream up in here? Nice. And this one, uh, unlike some other ships I've been on, it's got a real high uh, net at the top so you can get a full arc shot off. Here's your uh, golf driving range. In days old on uh, cruise ships, they used to have the driving range off the back of the ship. They used to drive the golf balls off the back of the ship. But somebody determined that was an environmental hazard putting all those little golf balls in the ocean, so now they have a place for you to drive golf balls. We haven't forgotten about the kids, okay? We have a kitty play area. Yes, and I'm sure this is hooked up into the kids club. They do. I have a kids club on the ship. Uh, particularly for the smaller ones. There isn't enough teenagers on here I think to do anything with, so I guess that's a little bit of a self uh, this is right above what was what is called on the, all the purchase ships right below this level is outriggers and outriggers on the Royal does not have a swimming pool so it's there's a big bar and an open deck area back right below this where these chairs are right underneath at one level so. There's an elevator at the very rear of the ship that will bring you up here from, I think, deck uh, 60. And this is about as high as you can go. And then down the stairs and then straight. Okay. So you're on two higher levels that you should. Okay. Okay. So we're up here in the uh, nosebleed section. You want to do your putting? Do your putting green. You can watch him play basketball. This is better known as Sky Deck 19, and this is all the way out. Oh, excuse me. This is all the way rear to the. Uh... Yeah. Yes, I was correct. It's just satellite communications. So here you go, you can come up here and play. Uh, I would have mixed the holes up, I wouldn't have put them one, two, three, four, five. I would have made them a little longer shots, but I'm sure they can change that around. So, another sports area. So here's another nice seating area for you uh, people want to come on and set up shop for the day and play, read, whatever you want to do. So this is the uh, little kids, the Princess Pelicans. Uh, unfortunately there are no little Princess Pelicans today and they're across the hall. But this is the whole teen center, kid center. I uh, think this is a little kid, you can tell by the chairs in there. Little ones show shockwaves, that's where they are. Now, this is shockwaves. We got a foosball, ski ball, computers, it's all up in age. Another foosball table, can't bring food or drink in there, no telling what else is going on, but. <laughs> have to ring the door to get in, but I don't want to bother them, but, uh, but I guess to tell you, it's here, it looks real nice, but the big thing is, uh, here we are in November, school is in, so there's no uh, kids on the ship to speak of.
So we have basically three levels of clubs. Registered 13 to 17 years old. So this is basically the same that I've seen on other cruise lines without mentioning any specific name. Uh, looks like a nice club again too. And again, we're in port, so port days. Event activities start at 7.30 and we're in port right now, so I can't get in there. But that's Remix. Bye bye St. Thomas. So we turn the front of the ship around with the thrusters. And there's somebody finally standing out on the balcony. We went into the room on the other side of the ship, M10, whatever it was. No, it was the other side of the ship. There is the Celebrity Summit over there where we were today earlier. He's fired up his engine, so he's evidently getting ready to leave too. Okay, Honeymoon Beach. Another view from a little bit larger vessel than the last time we were here. Yeah, 